Alicia Willis first came to Fort Kidd with her family when she was 13. We was raised here at this park, and I love that the fact that we have now got a new Fort Kidd for me to bring my new kids here and play. Willis brought her first daughter to the park when she was a kid. I had her come here and played a long time ago. Now she's 20 six and getting ready to have her own family, and maybe one day she can bring her own kids here to play. Now she can bring her seven-year-old daughter Miracle here as well. The new playground has some unique features, including an 18-foot tall slide that's 35 feet long, making it the biggest one in Knoxville. If you grew up coming to the original Fort Kid, you may not recognize it after its extensive facelift. It's been closed for almost three years, but after reopening today, it's already a big hit. Victor Ash was the mayor when Fort Kid was originally built in 1991 and says it was a big part of his kid's childhood. I brought my kids here. My son was born the year before this opened. My daughter was born the next year. Uh, and we used to come when they were three and four and five years old. And it was a great place. Ash says while the new park is different from the original, it was in need of repairs. Well, Fort Kid 1 lasted 31 years. Then there was a three-year hiatus where basically it's a vacant lot. And now we have this, and hopefully a lot of people will use it. It'll be a fun place. Uh, but really, in my mind, it's really Fort Kid 2, not the original Fort Kid. Mayor India Kincannon says she is most proud of the new playground being accessible to everyone. So one of the most important things that I'm proud of about this newly reimagined Fort Kid is there is it's inclusive. It's a design that's universal, that's av available and open to everybody. So there's a fully accessible merry-go-round. Kincannon says those with mobility issues will be able to easily move around the playground. The city of Knoxville said the project cost nearly $1.3 million and was funded by the city and private donors. Some of those donors include Thomas and Lindsay Boyd, the Downtown Knoxville Alliance, and Visit Knoxville. All right, Ella, thank you. And as Ella mentioned, the original Fort Kid was built back in 91, and we should note that plaques honoring the volunteers who built that original play structure will be added to the new Fort Kid in the next few weeks.